are all aware we are in August. Everybody's aware we're in August. And August is ener August's energy is all around like rebirth. Rebirth and connecting to this recreative power because that's what we do. We recreate. We are co-creators with the universe, but our purpose is to recreate over and over and over and over and over and over and over because we're manifesting beings. We've talked about this many, many times. Why are we here? Not just to make the impact we came here to make, not just to step into the purpose that this life's experience is causing us to fulfill, but also to co-create with the universe all of our all of our desires. And one of the things that I want, I guess, to start with is, is this recognizing and understanding our brain and our mind separate. The mind is separate from the brain. The mind is what is connected to the universe. The brain is what keeps the body, the physical me, going. We think that we are having the desires that we're having because they're personal to us or they are something that we saw someone else having and thought that that would be nice for us to have as well. So that's why we want it too. And sometimes that's the, that's, sometimes that's the case. That's more of like an ego-driven thing, ego being a physical thing. What I think is, is important to remember is that any of these really heartfelt soul felt in my bones felt desires that come through are from your higher self. I believe, in my opinion, I believe we give this physical experience so much more credit than we should, because really we are expressions of source energy and that source energy within me came to experience this life through me and so it if if left to its own energy if it left to be its own force will create through me without restriction consistently in a flow let me repeat that if left unchecked if left to just be if left without fear, judgment, criticism, lack, restriction, if left without restriction, the source energy present within me would simply just do what it came here to do. Source created me. So my purpose would just come to fruition. My impact would just come to fruition. And I'm saying this very lightly, I'll fill it all in. Everything that was meant to happen within my world would come to fruition. I would remember that my part is to pick up the hints along the way. The hints are connected to our desires. See, we, a higher self energy comes through and gives us this epic desire of you know, um, creating a new office space, creating a new vehicle, creating a new family, creating a new house, creating a new body image, whatever the case may be, it has a desire to create something, the, the spirit within up here, right? So it starts to feed down energy, intuitive hunches, intuitive guidance to get our physical attention down here going, oh, wow, okay. And then within our physical experience, we tune in to see what is best for me to go about the having of what I desire. How can I create this? The details show up. The people show up. The things that we want to be able to have opportunity with show up. But where do we get in our own way? We get in our own way by feeling like we have to figure it all out, that we have to have all the details. And that's simply restrictive. All of that comes to you when you sit with an energy of flow. When you sit with an energy of your higher self, your inner being flowing through you. 
your inner being feels before anything manifests. But we, in our physicalness, allow the ego to say that's backwards. When I have the new family house, car, job, opportunity, then I'll be happy. When it's not that way, it's the spirit within you going, be happy now, be joyous now, celebrate now, because this is what's on its way to you. You're catching on to the fact that this energy of this new opportunity is right there for you. Celebrate now. Celebrate the power in right now, recognizing, knowing, and having what you want on its way to you. Celebrate now. And you would be pleasantly stunned and surprised at how quickly what it is that you're asking for, what you think you desire, your higher self, 90% of you is in spirit form, which means 90% of you is fully aware of what it is you want. It's the reason you want it. So clearly there's a way. If there's a will, call your higher being will, there's a way. And all that has to happen is alignment. All that has to happen is the surrender. All that has to happen is the letting go of the details, of the, de of the timing, of the appearance. Okay. Rebirth is the energy of August. Rebirth or recreating. A lot of, there's been a lot of focus or there's been a lot of, um, um, how do you want to say it? Intuitive hunches lately on my end with regards to mental health and really seeing a lot more of the feeds, both social media, Facebook and social media, Instagram, really, really, really a lot of focus, a lot of people sharing um, around where their state of being right now is, the mental state of being right now is. And one of the things that I really want people to remember to hold on to tightly and not let go of is that you're the one that creates the universe. You're the one that creates the world in which you see. It is not the other way around. It does not matter what the outside world might be looking like. You always have a choice to participate or to, to sit within you, to close the ego eyes and go within and say, no, that's not what this world that I want looks like. The world that I desire looks like this. The world that I want to manifest looks like this, feels, feels like this. We can at any given time have a recreation of oneself or of one's affairs. So because of all of the timing out that's been happening, a lot of the isolation that's been happening, what it has done is caused a lot of people to reevaluate some things. And in a really good way, we've been reevaluating the most important things that are, well, the things that are most important to us in our world. And we've also been looking at areas of our lives that we feel we could be pulling more energy into. Because in doing so, we know anything we focus on expands. We're going to practice the pause here with regards to rebirth and recreating. Pause is presence, acceptance, understanding, support, and expansion. Pause. How do you remain present when it comes to recreating something? Well, first we want to acknowledge that in the recreating of anything, there's an inkling of not being happy, right? Nobody really wants to recreate something unless they're feeling stagnant, stuck, or not happy, not fulfilled any longer in whatever this is. So to recreate or rebirth something would pretty much be an omittance that, okay, something here is not happy, something here is not satisfying, something here is not joyous or blissful or loving, you know, something here has gotten old. It no longer serves me. And in letting it go, I need to recreate something different. And so when you are wanting to recreate, you have to be present with what's already been created. You have to be present with the money that you're wanting to recreate. 
if if you're wanting to recreate yourself a new version of you you have to sit with the you that is right now to understand where the money is where the you is in this moment right now you have to be grounded in the right now moment so that you can really be appreciate or and understand what's going on right now something's created this desire to recreate it to ask for a better version to ask for an up leveling of sorts you have to understand why that is what is this all about where is this all coming from why all of a sudden do i want to recreate my money or or me or my body right why when you are in the state of presence it kind of also in, uh, accompanies acceptance i can't do anything right now without having a better idea of what's gone aw awry or what's no longer satisfying right i have to understand what's going on before i can really make any differences so i have to accept that where i am is where i am right now i can't be anyplace else i can't do anything else you know until i understand this better i can't heal this i have to see it to heal it so i have to understand this a little bit better I have to understand what about me I really truly want to change presence and then I have to accept that okay maybe through quarantine we've gained a couple extra pounds maybe through quarantine we you we've seen a depletion in our funds okay I have to accept that that's just it it is right now what it is and in the accepting of it we're no longer fighting ourselves we're no longer judging the fact that we've gained a couple pounds. We are no longer judging the fact or, or giving fear more energy because we find our finances have depleted a bit. Acceptance. Where, where I am right now, taking a nice good look at it. Where I am is where I am. I know I'm changing it. I have to see it though. I have to look it dead in its face before I can make those changes. Right? All right. Understanding understanding this one's a good one understanding what happens when we start to stay present accept where we are we really do open ourselves up the conduit that is us for deeper more awareness uh, a deeper understanding of what's kind of gone on of where things have been that now we're seeing what we're seeing why why when we have a better understanding of our situation we now know how to ask for support. When we have an understanding that perhaps we haven't been even asking for support, we've been trying to martyr it this whole time, not asking for support, not asking for some help, not asking for advice, or, or, or we've been just trying to fix it all. And now as we're present and accepting our situation and understanding why we're here, now we're ready. Now we're ready to bring support in, whether it's from the universe, your guides, your best friend, a counselor, you know, a bank officer, you know, whatever. We're in a better position now, having accepted and started to understand our situation, to really ask for support. And you, the greatest thing that we can do is ask for help. The, the most powerful prayer is thank you. But the greatest act of love for self is to, to, is to ask for support. It's to tune into the inner being and the support it holds. Tune into the guides and the angels and the support that they hold and allow it to come in. Because now signs and synchronicities. Perhaps you're at a restaurant and you hear people speaking about their solution to the issue that you think you're having. It's not a coincidence. There's no such thing. Source will place the people in your world exactly when you need them, all the time. And once that support's there, once you feel a bit more boosted, expansion takes place. See, I always have this vision in my head. The minute I'm ready to expand, I'm lifted. I'm lifted up into a greater awareness and boom, expansion is instant. It's instant. What it is starts coming in. I start hearing about it. I start seeing about it. When you're wanting to manifest something, and you're focusing on it, you're getting excited about it, you're writing about it, you're being appreciative for the having of it, and you're starting to you know, envision it within yourself, it's on the vision board, and then suddenly, everyone and their mama has the car you want in your city. You see this car left and right and left and right and left and right to the fact where you're like, I don't even know if I want this car anymore because I see it so much. 
Maybe I want to ask for something different. Who knew everybody has that same car? This is the universe going, see how easy it is to bring it into your awareness? Do you see how easy it is? It surrounds you. It surrounds you. It's huge. You are an expression of the divine consciousness. That divine consciousness knew what was going on when you decided to sign up for the earth experience and come down. It has all of what you need. You have to be mindful of where you're giving your power. Are you giving your power to the spirit within you and allowing it to fuel you forward? Or are you giving your power to the ego and allowing it to get you tripped up because you think you have to figure it out? You have to push, 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 force, 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 or hustle, 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 hustle to create what you want. There's this word that you really want to feel the energy of. It's called discipline. Discipline is something the ego can use to restrict. Discipline is something that the universe can use to expand. Discipline. Discipline is one of those words where it's like, yeah, I can go either way. I can have fun with it or I can be like, yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> discipline is one of those energies you really want to feel into. What does discipline feel like to you? Does it feel restricted? Does it feel as if, you know what, I, I'm doing myself more harm by, by disciplining and there's no room to wiggle, right? Because here's the thing, you want to manifest more funds and the universe is like, have more fun with the money that you got. Do something amazing for yourself. Let go so it can come back multiplied. But see, we don't believe that. We don't think that that's the case. So we hold on because you never know what tomorrow's gonna be. And the universe is like, oh, I do, more restriction. Or you can go out and treat yourself. We're not talking spend all the dollars in the bank hoping that they're gonna multiply and come back. We're talking about you having fun with your experience. There's a time and a place for everything. There's a time to create. There's a time to relax. There's a time to put work in, energetic work, healing work, etc. There's a time and a place for all of it. You're the one that has to feel, trust, and align with how you feel your way through. It expresses itself through you and through all that you do and encounter. We have this impression that the universe is all sugar pops and, and roses and, and rainbows. And so if it's expressing itself, it can't possibly be expressing itself when I am having a learned lesson that's real hard for me to learn, right? A pattern.